Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete Google Meet tutorial for beginners. I will show you everything that you need to know in order to use Google Meet, from how you can join meetings, how you can set meetings up, making sure your settings are set up correctly so that you don't have any issues with your camera or microphone, and then everything that you can do once you are actually inside of a Google Meet meeting. To get access to Google Meet, you essentially have two options depending on what browser you are using. The first option is very easy if you are using Chrome and you are already signed into your Google account, then all you have to do is click on this Google Apps icon in the top right corner. And then right here, you can see Google Meet. So we can just click in. And just like that, we are now on Google Meet. Alternatively, you can open up a new tab and simply search for Google Meet. And then from here, we just click on this top option for Google Meet. And that is going to take you over to the exact same page. As soon as you load in, this is the basic and the free version of Google Meet. And for 90% of people, this is going to have all of the features that you need. However, what you can do is if you do want to upgrade to Google Meet Premium, we can click in here and you can see that we are going to get access to longer group calls, the ability to live stream to YouTube. We get access to call recording, noise cancellation, joining by phone without showing your camera. We also get a terabyte of storage, some advanced appointment setting, personalized email campaigns, and a few other options. If you do want to upgrade, then you can come down here and right here, we can see the pricing for the Google Workspace plans. So all we would do is select, we can start a 14 day free trial and that will give you access to the premium version of Google Meet. However, as I said, that's for a very small amount of people. The free version that we have right here of Google Meet is going to do more than enough. So right here, you will see that we have two different options. We have a new meeting and we have enter a code or link. Now, the difference between these is enter a code or link is if you are joining somebody else's meeting. So if you are an employee at a company and you need to join calls, or if you are a student at a school and you need to join class calls, then you need the person whose meeting it is to give you a code or a link. To get access to this, you can get the person whose meeting it is to either send you an email that's going to look like this. And as you can see, it says this person is inviting you to a video call. And then from here, we can either click on join call just like this. And then it's going to take us over to the call right here. Or alternatively, we have a link at the bottom right here. So what we could do is just go ahead and copy this, paste it into this bar and click on join. And as you can see, this is going to take us over and get us ready to join this meeting. So on this screen, if you are about to join a meeting, it's going to say, do you want people to see you in the meeting? And then if we click on allow camera, and we can click allow up here. That's going to turn your camera on. And as you can see, my camera is on right here. We have a few other options in this area. So we have a microphone button right here. And if we click on this, that's going to mute my microphone. So nobody in the call will be able to hear me. I can turn that back on and now my microphone is on. I can also turn my camera off and on by using this button. And then over here on the right hand side, we have apply visual effects. So in here, you can change the background. So if you're not in the best background or maybe you are in a coffee shop or something like this, we can go ahead and change to a beautiful clean background and remove all of that background noise behind you. Now, you might notice that it's kind of cutting me off here. That's because I'm angled away from the camera. But if I turn more towards you, you will see that you will be able to see me in full now. You can see all of the hand movements that I make. So that's how you can set that up. You can basically go down here and choose from any of these backgrounds that you like. Or alternatively, we can go up and just blur the background. This is kind of like a minimalist blur. And then this is the maximum blur right here. So we can turn this off just by clicking on the one that's selected. And that's going to turn it off. We can then go to filters and just add some like little silly filters. <laughs> I don't want to spend too long on this, but you can add like cool filters to yourself that you can see. And then under appearance, we can adjust video lighting. So if it's like dark in the room, we could turn this on and it adjusts the brightness. And then we can adjust like brightness settings right here. But once you have all of that set up, all we now need to do to join the meeting is click on join now. And then just like that, we will be dropped into the meeting. And that is how we can join meetings right there. Alternatively, if you want to create a meeting instead, we can do so using this blue button right here. So we click on new meeting and then we have three different options. So the first is to create a meeting for later. 
And when we click on this, all this is going to do is give us a meeting link. And then what we can do is just make sure that we have this link stored. So this is the link right here. And then what we would do is when it actually comes to the time of the meeting, then we would send this meeting out. We can either message this link to people. We can email this link to people. And then everybody joins the meeting just like this. We can go through and join. And through that link, that is how you can set a meeting up for later. The other alternative that we have, and I much prefer this, is you can actually schedule a meeting in Google Calendar. So once again, this is if you want to schedule a meeting for later. So we can click into this. And just like that, we are going to be taken over to this screen right here. And we can actually add this meeting to our Google Calendar. So let's say that this is a team meeting. We can then set the date and time. So right now it's close to three o'clock. So let's set this to 4 p.m. And say four till five, that's how long the meeting is going to be. We can then choose the date. We can choose if this meeting repeats, whether it repeats daily, weekly, we can set that all up right there. Then in the meeting location, we can leave this blank because we have this clickable button that everybody can use to join. And then we can add a description if we want to tell people what this meeting is about. And up here, this is where we add guests. So I could go in and just start adding different people to this meeting. Let's go with these two right here. And then we can click on save. And it says, would you like to send an invitation email to these guests? So if we click on send, what this will do is it will send them an email and say, hey, you have a meeting booked at 4 p.m. until 5 p.m. It will send that across. And then once again, just like I showed you at the beginning, people will be able to click on that button and join through the email. So we can send right there. And as you can see, that meeting is now scheduled in my calendar. So what I can do is come along to Google Calendar, click on this right here. And then all I have to do is click on join with Google Meet. And I will be taken over to this area where I can go ahead and join this meeting. So that is how you can set meetings up. And the final part of this video, I want to go ahead and join a meeting. And I want to show you all of the tools that we have inside of Google Meet. So as soon as you start a meeting, we will get given this link right here. You already know what to do with these links. You can share them around. You can text them to people. This is how you get people to join. Then at the bottom, these are all of the settings that we have for Google Meet. So we can open up the audio settings. We can turn the microphone on and off. If we click on this drop down arrow, we can choose the microphone that we are using as well as the speakers that this will use. So right now, this is going to be set to Mac Studio speakers, the speaker on my Mac. But if I go ahead and get these out, for example, and I don't want to use the Mac anymore, so I'll put these headphones on. As you can see, that's going to automatically update the microphone updated as well. So I want to go back in and change this to make sure I am using this microphone. And then for the output, I want to be using these headphones. So you can go in and change them manually if it doesn't update automatically. So perfect. I'll just take these back off. Then for the camera, so we have the camera down here. Once again, we can click in, choose between the different cameras, turn the camera on and off. We then have closed captions. So if I go ahead and turn these on, you can see that it's going to dictate everything that I say throughout this entire conversation. So you can turn subtitles on right there. We can even go up and change the language of these captions. We just go ahead and turn these off. We can also send a reaction. So the main use case of this is if you are in a meeting and somebody is talking, but you don't really want to speak over them, but you do want to show like approval or even disapproval. Well, we can just use these. So it's going to be silent, but we can basically click on these and send a reaction. And that way people will be able to see what we think of their idea without us butting in and getting involved in the conversation directly. This button right here called present is essentially share screen. So what I can do is we can choose if we just want to share Chrome tab, if we want to share the entire window or the entire screen. So I'm going to go entire screen and share. And now this is going to be sharing my screen with everybody else in the meeting. So I can now go ahead, I can go into Google, I can display whatever I want to whilst everybody is watching my screen. And that is how we can screen share right there. I'm just going to go ahead and stop presenting. And that's how we can stop presenting. Then raise hand is going to be for, once again, if you are in a group meeting and you can just raise your hand like this. As you can see, it's going to raise my hand. And then the main person who is speaking will be able to see everybody with their hand raised so they can call on people to give an answer or a suggestion. And then once you've been called on, you can just take your hand down like this. And that is how we can use raise hand. Over here, we have a few other options. So we have whiteboard. 
we can go in and start a new whiteboard. And this is going to start a whiteboard with the entire team. So as you can see, this is a jam board. Everybody in the meeting will be able to see everything we put in here. They will be able to add their own ideas. And that's how we can use the whiteboard. And then we have some other things like being able to change the layout. Once again, this is more for group meetings. So tiled will show everybody at the same time. Spotlight will show the person who is currently talking. They will be brought into the big picture as you can see on my screen. And then you won't be able to see anybody else. Or we have sidebar that will bring up so if I'm speaking, I will be the main picture for everybody, but you will still be able to see everybody down this right hand side. So we can choose that right there. That's change layout. We then have full screen, open picture in picture, which is basically going to minimize the chat. So I could go ahead and do other things. So I could maybe check out social blade right here or check some other things whilst I still see the meeting. And then we can just go back in, go to these settings and go close picture in picture to bring this back up. Then we have visual effects. We've already spoken about these. We have captions, which we've already spoken about. And then we just have some report options down here. Finally, on this right hand side, we can see meeting detail. So this right here is the board that we created. I can click back in and get access to that board so we can see that. Anything else that is created will show right here. We can see all of the participants that are in this meeting and we can add and invite people. We can also open up a meeting chat. So once again, if people are talking, but the rest of the team kind of want to communicate without butting in, then they can use this chat and just type between themselves. So I could say hello, then somebody else could come in and reply. We kind of have like a comment section within the call. That's the best way I would describe this. And then the final thing that we have right here is going to be activities. So we have whiteboarding, which I've already showed you. And then these other ones are premium. So breakout rooms, splitting the room into smaller discussions, live streaming, recording, all of that good stuff, but these are all premium. Then we have our host controls. So this is just where the host can come in and we can choose if we allow people to share their screen, send chat messages, send reactions. If we turn this on, we can go through and turn this off. So I could say, I don't want anybody to send chat messages or share their screen or any of these other options. And that's how you can control all of these areas. Then of course, to leave the meeting, we just leave like that. We can choose to leave the call or end the call for everyone. And just like that, that is how you can use Google Meet. So that is how you can use Google Meet. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.